Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and the upset of the weekend, the game of the weekend, Argentina beating England 30 points to 29 at Twickenham. Absolutely sensational from Los Pumas. You had to weather one of the biggest storms, one of the biggest, most dominant first halves I've seen and yet managing to keep within the touching distance throughout the match and a Puma side that, we, as we said, we know that they can beat some of the best teams in the world while they've just done it away from home. And this Argentinian side is a really special one under Michael Checker. And uh, you've got to admire some of the big performances that came from the senior players. Julian Montoya, once again, fantastic. Emiliano Buffelli, brilliant, absolutely brilliant off the tee, scoring 25 points uh, from his boot. And uh, that, that's the difference. You know, a world-class goal kicker has won them the game. So I think that'll ring true for quite a lot of Springbok fans. Before we sort of break down the game and exactly what happened and when, please do smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. So if we look at the timeline, Perfetti started things off with a, an early uh, three-pointer in just the ninth minute. Owen Farrell uh, cancelling that out. And they then uh, saw Bandit Moff um, Perfetti taking the lead once again in the 15th minute. However, the first try of the match came from Joe Kaganasiga, absolute power, packs a huge punch, does the England number 11. A very important try there. Um, Owen Farrell, who was flawless off the tee, adding the extras. But importantly, Argentina just finally, and I thought their restarts were, were, were a big um, boost for them because they were winning back possession in the restarts, winning a penalty, taking the three, kind of nullifying all the hard work that England were putting in. So, uh, and a, a Buffetti uh, penalty in the 33rd minute, followed by a Farrell penalty in the 36th minute, by another Perfetti penalty in the 38th minute, and then a pretty silly penalty for Argentina concede right on the brink of half time. Uh, so Owen Farrell making it a four-point game on the 40th minute, 16 points to 12 it was. But Argentina starting like a house on fire, an absolutely sensational move off the back of a lineout. Bertrand taking a position, you know, halfway down the track, a uh, very nice pass from Montoya. They managed to sort of recycle three passes, go the full width of the field. Mario Buffeni then ran in that try, missed his only kick of the uh, of the game. And then a few minutes later, a poor offload from um, Farrell uh, went to nobody, and Carreras was there, grabbed on it, ran the distance, managing to outstrip uh, Freddie Stewart, diving over there in the 51st minute. Buffeni adding the extras. All of a sudden, 24 points to 16, an eight-point game, but as has kind of been characteristic with Argentina, often switch off just after they have scored points. Jack from Portlead seizing an opportunity where there was no rack guards, jumping up and going straight through the Argentinian defense to find a try, um, Owen Farrell getting the extras. And then it continued to be a one-point game. Um, Owen Farrell will then kick a penalty in the 60th minute, 26-24, before Buffelli would then reply in the 63rd minute. Farrell would reply in the 67th minute, Buffelli in the 70th minute. And then a very tense last 10 minutes. Argentina winning a couple of scrum penalties. A big shout out to the Argentinian bench, particularly the front row, for winning those penalties in such important moments. We look at the stats, and Argentina had no right to win this match. 63% possession across the entire match um, to England. Argentina with just 37% possession and just 29% territory. So England played the entire match, literally 71% of the game inside Argentinian territory. Uh, two tries each. Uh, one conversion missed for Argentina, but one penalty was the difference. Uh, England running far more meters, beating far more defenders, far more clean breaks, far more gang down carries, as you'd imagine. Um, but Argentina just, you know, living off the scraps and, and making every opportunity count. A big shout out to the Argentinian defense. Uh, 137 of 154 tackles made at 89%. England missing seven tackles of the 56 they were asked to make. Um, both goal kickers very good today. Um, own foul, 7 from 7. Buffetti, 88 uh, percent, 7 from 8. The rack success rate was pretty good for both sides. Lineouts, uh, neither side lost the lineouts, but England losing three scrums, a big part of the Argentinian game, which hasn't always been traditionally very strong, but uh, very much coming in clutch towards the end. Uh, and not, not too, and discipline wise, you know, for as many, you know, there are a lot of penalties conceded. I think the issue was. Both sides conceding penalties inside their own half with two quality goal kickers. Seven penalties conceded by England in their own half, just two in the opposition half. Six conceded by Argentina and just two in the opposition half. Also, no yellow cards across the match, which was quite nice to see. If we look at some big performers, Billy Venapola made a lot of carries, um, beating three defenders, 60 meters across his 11 carries. Um, I thought that Marcus Kramer was characteristically brilliant on defense, making 19 tackles. Uh, Montoya led from the front, 14 tackles. Um, 
I thought Mar John Martin Gonzalez was very good as well. Pando Matera grew into the game, got a lot better in the second half. Uh, big shout out to, to Geronimo De La Fuente, who made uh, 11 tackles in that midfield. And uh, look at the England side. I thought Freddie Stewart uh, struggled a little bit. I oh, didn't have too much to do defensively, um, but was very good in the high ball. Obviously, a very nice um, option to have. Uh, I thought Joe Kaganasiga, 104 meters gain, two defenders beats in a clean break and offload, made both his tackles well, had a very good outing. Uh, Carl Sinclair as well, doing a lot of hard work, as Genj characteristically carrying quite a lot. Um, but shout out to the bench because I thought the Argentinian bench. Uh, Eduardo Bello, in particular, for example, I thought Fakinda is Aza brought in a lot of physicality when he did come onto the, the pitch, making nine tackles. Uh, what a game. What an absolutely fantastic game. Let me know what you think of the game down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Big congrats to Argentina and let's see what they can do next weekend as well.